What a fantastic evening at Selhurst Park. Crystal Palace nil, Tottenham Hotspur 4. Harry came with a brace. He is now only a couple of goals away from Jimmy Greaves' all-time record at Tottenham Hotspur. Matt Doherty and Hun Min Son also on the score sheet. And a fantastic atmosphere in the away end. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Spurs in the Media. In this edition, I'll be going through all of the articles from the national press, looking at the player ratings as well from the game. Crystal Palace nil, Tottenham Hotspur 4. So let's get straight into it. Let's have a look at today's Daily Mail. It states here on the back page, Prince Harry rocks Palace. World-class Kane gets Spurs season back on track with brilliant brace. Antonio Conte saluted world-class Harry Kane last night after the England captain got Tottenham season back on track at Crystal Palace. Also, a double-page spread from the Daily Mail. It states here, Kane's brace turns the tide for Conte. Finally, Spurs end run of conceding first and kick-start fight for top four. Harry Kane, who else? When Tottenham desperately needed a lift, when Antonio Conte required a flash of inspiration, it arrived from the usual reliable source. Now, the player ratings from the Daily Mail. Lloris, a 7.5. Romero, a 5.5. Dyer, a 6.5. Lenglet, a 6. Doherty, a 6.5. Skip, a 5.5. Hoybier, a 6. Perisic, a 7. Hunmin Son, a 6.5. Uh, Brian Hill, a 7.5. And star man Harry Kane, 8 out of 10. Now for a report from the Daily Mirror and on the back page it says here Harry upsets the Palace. Harry Kane warmed up for next week's North London derby by destroying Crystal Palace as Spurs returned to deadly form. The England captain struck twice in five minutes at the start of the second half before Matt Doherty grabbed a third and Hun Min Son got his first Premier League goal since September moving Antonio Conte's side who faced rivals Arsenal on the 15th of January nearer to the top four. A double page spread from the Daily Mirror and it says here, Harry, New Year. Kane puts agony of 2022 behind him with double to put Spurs back on course and lead route of Palace. Now the player ratings from the Mirror, Hugo Lloris a 7, Romero a 7, Dyer an 8, Lengley a 7, Doherty an 8, Skip 7, Hoybier 7, Perisic 8, Brian Hill 8, Hunmin Son 8, Harry Kane a 9, Sub Saar got a 7, man of the match of course was Harry Kane. Uh, interestingly, a number of uh, Crystal Palace players got ratings of 3, uh, the others got 4. Uh, they only give one player a 5 out of 10 and that was Ayu. Now for a report from the Sun newspaper and on the back page it says Kane's tonnet again. Uh, this wonderful picture of Harry Kane and Brian Hill celebrating. Brian Hill I thought was absolutely superb uh, at Palace. It says here Harry Kane celebrated his 300th Premier League appearance with a double to lift the gloom at Spurs. The striker become only the second player along with Teddy Sheringham to score on his 100th, 200th and 300th Premier League outing. In this report, he says his quick-fire second-half strikes took his Premier League goals total to 198 to keep Tottenham in the top-four hunt, and he is now just too shy of Jimmy Greaves' club record of 266 goals. Harry Kane said, I try not to think about the records, but I know it's close. It was nice to play like that. A double page spread from the Sun newspaper. The main heading states, Harry Spurfect. Cheer up, Conte. You've got Prem's top striker. A couple of stats here. Hunmin Son made his 200th Premier League start last night, becoming the first Asian player ever to reach that milestone. And Harry Kane has now scored 47 goals in Premier League London derbies, at least four more than any other player with Thierry Henry next best on 43. Now for a report from the Daily Express on the back page. You've got this wonderful picture of Tottenham Hotspur celebrating. You've got Brian Hill there, Romero, Kane, Son and Matt Doherty. It says Harry Kane warmed up for next week's North London derby by destroying Crystal Palace as ruthless Spurs returned to form.
The report inside the Daily Express today has got this wonderful picture of Harry Kane heading home. Kane reaction as Spurs come alive at a perfect time and sun shines again as drought ends. What a time to find their stride again. What a time for Harry Kane to keep Tottenham's top four pulse beating and for Hunmin Son to return to form. Now, the player ratings today from the Daily Express, Hugo Lloris a 7, Romero a 7, Dyer an 8, Lengle a 7, Doherty an 8, Skip a 7, Hoybier a 7, Perisic an 8, Brian Hill an 8, Hunmin Son an 8 and star man Harry Kane 9 out of 10. Now a report from the Guardian newspaper and it's got this great picture of Harry Kane celebrating. Spurs belief comes back in floods after Kane fires double. Perhaps Tottenham have finally realised they do not have to be 2-0 down before letting their talent shine. They have too much firepower to play such a restrained brand of football. And when Harry Kane is in this kind of mood, so full of creativity and so hungry for goals, it is difficult to understand why Antonio Conte makes life at Spurs sound so wearisome. Now a report from the Times newspaper and on the back page it's got this wonderful picture of Harry Kane and Hunmin Son smiling, Matt Doherty just behind them. Isn't it wonderful to see Son and Kane smiling like this again? It says, feel more like staying at Tottenham now, Antonio. The double page spread from the Times newspaper, it states here, Kane's second half show helps lighten Conte's dark mood. And what about this for a stat? 73% of Tottenham's Premier League goals this season have come in the second half of matches. 27 goals out of 37. The player ratings from the Times newspaper, Hugo Lloris a 7, Romero a 7, Eric Dyer a 7, Lengler a 7, Doherty 7, Skip 7, Hoybier 7, Perisic 7, Brian Hill an 8, Harry Kane a 9, Hunmin Son a 7. Now a report from the Daily Telegraph and this is the front page of the sports supplement. Harry Kane celebrating, uh, Brian Hill with a big smile on his face. Kane's command performance, striker scores twice in five minutes to close in on Spurs' all-time record. Now for a double-page spread from the Daily Telegraph. It says here, Kane leads route of Palace to lift Spurs' hope of top-four finish. Now Tottenham's top goal scorers, Jimmy Greaves with 266. Harry Kane now just two behind with 264. Bobby Smith, 208. Martin Shivers, 174. Cliff Jones, 154. And Jermaine Defoe with 143. Now, the player ratings from the Daily Telegraph. Larice a six, which I think is pretty harsh. He made a number of great saves in that game. Uh, Romero, a six. Dyer, a six. Lengler, a six. Doherty, a seven. Skip, a five. Hoybier, a six. Perisic, a seven. Uh, great assist for Harry Kane's header, by the way. Uh, Brian Hill, a seven. Harry Kane, an eight. And Hunmin Son, a seven. And lastly, in Antonio Conte's post-match press conference at Selhurst Park, he went on to call Harry Kane world-class and he stated that the England captain will go on to break all records. Yeah, but uh, to, to speak about, about Harry, I think that uh, uh, um, we, 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 we waste time, we waste time to, to explain... Uh, uh, about the uh, the type of player that uh, yeah. he is, and uh, I repeat, we are talking about a, a really world class striker, and uh, um, yeah, he's going to to beat every record, and uh, with the goals for us uh, is an important point of reference, not only for the goal but also on the pitch. And he is uh, with uh, Hugo, our captain. And uh, especially in the difficult moment, Harry uh, uh, stay there. You know that he uh, is uh, into the pitch, ready to fight, ready to help the, the teammates, ready to uh, to solve the situation with uh, uh, with the goals or with uh, with the assist. And uh, but you know and. Uh, we have to to continue in this way and uh, to face uh, every situation, a positive or negative situation, uh, always with great spirit, with a great character, to overcome the difficulty. I think in this period, uh, and also before to start the World Cup, 
we faced uh, a period with great difficulty for injuries. And uh, now I think that uh, mm, in a short period uh, we can have uh, the whole squad available. And for us, uh, for me, uh, will be very important because uh, mm, to play against Arsenal, to play, to play against City and uh, to play in Champions League uh, with all the players available, it, uh, it will be very, very important for, uh, for us also to understand which is our level compared to these, uh, these teams. But, um, but you know, and uh, it's always important to, uh, to get three points to, to have this type of win because uh, uh, this win uh, brings confidence in your, your team. The game against Aston Villa, after, uh, I repeat, in my, in my opinion, a really good first half because uh, I was really satisfied after, after the first half against Aston Villa. And um, instead, in the second half, we considered the goal, and then uh, our confidence uh, uh, dropped. Dropped, and uh, you know, to recover in two days, three days uh, after a defeat uh, at home, uh, where uh, uh, the expectation was to try to win, you know, and uh, to go again uh, in uh, in a really good position, the table. Uh, was uh, was not easy. Was not easy for uh, for the atmosphere uh, for 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 the players. But the response today was uh, was really good because uh, I think that my players showed uh, uh, every time great character, great personality in every in every situation. Then uh, you can win, uh, uh, you can lose. The most important thing that you stay in, into the pitch with your mind and with the will, they decide to fight until the end. Maybe in the second part of the game against Aston Villa, uh, I think the, the confidence uh, dropped a lot. And uh, I think my players uh, felt that they didn't deserve to stay one nil down, two nil down, and uh, to, to lose the game. And uh, maybe it was uh, the only game that. Uh, uh, we didn't have uh, uh, a strong reaction. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your week. Come on, you Spurs.